Hello, I'm Mark London and this is The Standard's Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, deadly shark attacks double worldwide. But first, an explosion on the sun blasted a massive plume of energised particles through space that's nearly a million miles per hour to trigger some communications blackouts in Australia and South Asia. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Prediction Centre shows there is a 45% chance of more communication disruptions in the coming days. Problems were caused by solar flares and a coronal mass ejection of billions of tonnes of surface material. These are large clouds of plasma and magnetic field that erupt from the solar surface. These geomagnetic storms, shock waves, temporarily disrupted Earth's magnetosphere and orbiting satellites. Next, the mystery of the Bennu asteroid sample returned to Earth by NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission has taken a new twist. As tests reveal, it may have come from an ancient ocean world able to support life. Initial analysis showed the dark rock contained large amounts of water and carbon, but now University of Arizona researchers believe it came from the seabed of a water-rich planet that existed billions of years ago. They've linked the asteroid's crust of extremely rare calcium and magnesium-rich phosphate minerals with Saturn's moon Enceladus, which is believed to have had an ocean of liquid salt water potentially able to support life. The University of Arizona's Professor Dante Loretta tells the new scientist that their working hypothesis is that it was an ancient ocean world. Now, Meta says it plans to start labelling AI-manipulated images uploaded to Facebook, Instagram and Threads. The social media giant says the tech will be rolled out across its platforms in the coming months, ahead of a number of major global elections this year. Meta already places a label on images created using its own AI, but says its new capability will enable it to label images created by AI on other platforms, including Google, Adobe, Mid Journey, and OpenAI. The company says it's also developing ways to identify images and eventually video and audio generated by artificial intelligence intelligence tools. Next, the Royal College of Psychiatrists says there's been a dramatic rise in the number of children being referred for emergency mental health treatment, with a 53% rise in referrals. The college says many of these under-18s have suffered worsening mental health while on NHS waiting lists for treatment. There were over 32,500 referrals to child mental health crisis teams in 2022 to 2023, up from just over 21,000 in 2019 to 2020. Data shows under-18s waiting for a follow-up after a GP referral for mental health problems have already waited on average five months and in the worst case, almost two years. Now, a baby Hoffman's two-toed sloth has been shown off at Florida's Palm Beach Zoo, and it's all thanks to an online dating program. These guys hang on to mom all the time. In their wild, they live in Central and South America, where they live in the rainforest. These guys have about an 11 and a half month gestation. So when it started getting cool, we moved our female sloth, the mom, Wilbur, into indoor habitat, which is specially climate controlled. That's Palm Beach Zoo's Kelly Fad. These guys are part of the Species Survival Plan, which is a fancy way, really, of saying harmony.com for these animals. We work with other zoos. There's a stud bookkeeper, a um, species survival plan coordinator, so that we can find the best genetic matches. Proud mum Wilbur, who herself was the last sloth born at Palm Beach Zoo 21 years ago, and her mates Dustin are part of a scientific breeding programme called the Species Survival Plan. Zoo officials are waiting to identify the sex of the baby sloth before deciding on a name. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science. Plus, autopilot car drivers warned over Apple's VR glasses. Why not hit follow? In the meantime, give us a rating. Welcome back. The Royal College of Radiologists says around one in three medical scans reveals an unexpected health problem. It comes after Buckingham Palace announced King Charles had been diagnosed with cancer after a separate issue of concern was noted during treatment for his benign prostate condition. Now, the Royal College of Radiologists says that about a third of scans flag something that neither patient nor clinician was expecting and may need further investigation. Next, research by the University of Florida reveals a rising number of shark attacks worldwide. 
study shows deaths doubled with 10 people reported killed by sharks last year. Data showed the US had the most unprovoked attacks by the ocean's apex predator, accounting for 52% of the worldwide total, but only two were fatal. While in Australia, four people were killed. Scientists say great whites, tiger and bull sharks killed the majority of swimmers in 2023, with more data about increased deaths, potentially due to more people being in the ocean each year and better reporting. And finally, US Secretary of Transport Pete Buttigieg has warned drivers whose vehicles have the autopilot feature not to use Apple's new Vision Pro augmented reality headset while behind the wheel. It comes after a video showing a Tesla Cybertruck driver wearing a pair of the goggles, swiping and prodding the air while his vehicle zipped along the road. Some ex-users have suggested the footage was a deliberate stunt or a joke, but Buttigieg says the human in charge should be in control and fully engaged in the driving task at all times. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Standard Podcast here in London and we'll be back on Thursday at 1pm. See you then.